Welcome to Smells Like 90s Rock, uh, but here we are, we're on the show. Um, I'm in a good mood, everybody. A rarity. Uh, what ha- why are you in such a good mood? I was being sarcastic. Oh, but... never mind. So you're not in a good mood. In other I'm words. in a mood. I'm just, I'm here. I, man, he's got no joy. This is joyless. You That's and why... Sheila have beat it out of me. Uh, what, the joy? You never yes. had joy. The don't blame I us did. for being joyless. I did. You never had joy. You never had it. Just because I was quiet and reserved didn't mean I had no yes. joy. Yes, it does. You, no, you it have, doesn't. You have no joy. No, it doesn't. Mm, then you just started emphasizing the point that I have no joy, even though I was okay. I don't know about all I that. I don't like you and Sheila is what oh. I'm trying to say. Oh, so at kidding. least uh, at least it comes out now. It, it's I'm actually kidding. Here. here it is. You wouldn't not, that you picked the week she's not here because you wouldn't say that to her face. Oh, wait till she comes back. <laughs> sure. I've told Sheila that she's judgmental to her face, and she bought me a drink that night. Well, all right then. I don't care. She, she is judgmental, but that that's Sheila, though, you know? Yeah. That's just the way it is. It's, it's kind of like, you know, a family guy. That's our quagmire. That's our Sheila. She's just... You never really know what they're going to do next. <laughs> Sad but true. He's quagmire, quagmire. But, what, uh, but, uh, but yeah. But what a, what a, well, go ahead. Have you seen the new Star Trek yet? No. I've heard it's good. Heard it's entertaining. I've heard good things. I used it as a trivia question tonight, but I didn't use it. Uh, as a, I've not seen it yet anyway. Uh, wait, what was the trivia question? Well, on the and show. what trivia? Well, like on-air trivia? Yeah, well, since. For those of you who know, I filled in on the night show on the other station for all this week, and uh, uh, to get uh, to do, I had a prize pack that I was giving away every night. So I played a game called Truth or Dare, and what Truth or Dare is is I will ask a question and provide it with an answer, and what the caller has to do is tell me whether I'm right, therefore telling the truth, but if I'm not, I then dare them to give me the right answer, putting the pressure onto them to give me the correct answer, okay. and then they answer the question. And tonight my question was, uh, what is the name of the new Star Trek movie? And I said it was Wrath of Khan. So what people would have to do is call in and tell me I was wrong. It's Star and, Trek Beyond. And I would tell them it would be Beyond. And uh, you'd be surprised. Two or three people got it wrong before uh, really? getting, before getting it right. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. It was, it was weird. It's doing pretty well. It's kind of... That's kind of weird. I have, yeah, I know it's crazy. I've yet to, I saw it was out. I've, I've yet to watch Red Letter Media's uh, take. I watched on it. The, did you? What they say? Um, they, 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 it's a coherent movie. It's, uh, it's not necessarily a Star Trek movie, but it's still like a coherent well, plot, engaging, um, engaging character performances, all that good stuff. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> they brought back a, they sort of revived certain parts of classic Star Trek, but it's still definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, It'll never it's, st- be. it's still definitely like a film that is crafted for an action. It will never be classic Star Trek for anymore. An, uh, an action themed audience, and, I guess. Right, and you know they're bringing us a, the, a new version of the old Star Trek to CBS, new TV show. Of that you know that? No, I yeah. did not know that. Yeah, new, new, uh, new, or new. I quote, air quote, new Star Trek coming because it's it's based again on the old people. Uh, but right. but it's coming to CBS, new a new version of of Star Trek. So yeah, it's like. People, come on! Eventually, the reboots have got to stop. I mean, yeah, you're gonna, if you're going to reboot it in the movie, that's fine. And I, I've never really qu- clearly understood: is is this version of Star Trek a re uh, a like kind of like is it a reboot or is it like uh, meeting the Captain Kirk and all those people back in their younger days? Like this is before all those other movies and stuff I that you saw. Is- I think this is more of a reboot. It's not. It's not like going back in time. I don't, and I don't seeing think them, it's like a prequel. Seeing thing. them as they were young. No. And, no. This I don't is think like, it's okay. like that. Okay, that would make sense because you know the guy who played Chegoff is dead. He died. Right. A few weeks ago, and they. Said oh, I didn't that, know that. You didn't know that? Yeah, no. he died in a horrible car accident. Like it oh. was. It wasn't even a car accident. What it was was he, he was at the bottom of a hill, and his car was at the top of a hill, or something like that, and it kicked into gear and pinned him to a wall. I mean, there was a horrible. Wow. It was a horrible, tragic death. And pinned him, not him inside of his car no he him. pinned him yeah ouch like, you know like, wow kind of like in a scary movie like this is this is your wife kind of like that you know? ouch yeah. so he's dead now and then jj abrams said they're not going to replace his character so that kind of answered my question okay this is clearly not visiting visiting them when they were younger right because he check off survives and lives so i guess so i guess it makes sense now that it is a, a reboot but i was never sincerely clear on that i didn't I did not know that. That's yeah. kind of that's a little yeah, he died like disturbing. Two months ago, I think it was almost last month, maybe June. I don't remember, but yeah, he he died recently. It was horrible, but uh, it was pretty awful. Yeah, 
He was in a really big movie, too, like a very popular. It was an indie flick, but it was like very popular among the masses. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. We'll have to look up his, his hmm. filmography. But it, okay. uh, it was very popular. I, like, I, my girlfriend went crazy when she heard he died because... Because uh, he was so good in the little it, indie liked, flick. She liked that movie and, was, and couldn't believe he was died. Was it her? Hmm? <laughs> was it her? Her what? The film, Her. No, thank God. It was not. No, it wasn't Joaquin Phoenix. Um uh, because that would have been a great loss, of course. But yeah, uh, he was good in that movie. Mm, but no, he yeah he no he he died and he, and, uh, he wasn't in her. Thank God. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what the movie was, but he he died. Uh, let's see. Um, Hillary's the nominee officially yep, now. Officially, first time in American history a woman has gotten the nomination, and uh, hopefully, it's the first time that she'll win the presidency. Uh, let's. Too. Uh, one can only know. hope. I, I I'm still not uh, extremely pro Hillary, but. Uh, the al- let, More let, pro Hillary than pro Trump. Think of the alternative. That's right. I just keep thinking of the alternative. So you know, and I definitely enjoyed the speeches at the DNC more than I did the RNC. Holy cow! I watched I watched Chelsea Clinton and I watched uh, Barack Obama. And I watched it. I watched I watched them all because uh, I I turned on I turned on Facebook Live. Uh, NPR was doing Facebook Live of the whole thing, so I could watch it on my computer and. Uh, Saw Biden, saw Obama, saw uh, Al Franken, uh, saw... Uh, I saw a little bit of Biden. Mm-hmm. And saw... <coughs> excuse me. Um, who else? I saw Chelsea, and then I saw Hillary, and, oh, Tim Kaine, the, the VP right. candidate. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, interesting, interesting times. Has, has Trump picked a VP? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah you, you, we talked it? about this last week. It who was it? the Indiana gov- the governor of Indiana, Mike Pence, who That's r- right, yeah. wrote into law that you could discriminate against gay people right, if you wanted okay. to, you know? And and I and, and that law makes me so mad. Not just because they could discriminate against gay people, but how do you how do you dignify? How do you find a gay person? It's not like gay people walk into a business and go, "Hello," they you might. know, eh. you know, they don't do that. Well, like, how do you exactly? How exactly do you designate people, a gay person? You know? Some people, I mean, some people you can just tell. Honestly. No, well, it, I don't. I don't like. I really don't like to boil it down to a stereotype. So, but there's like one or two people. Like there's gay people at my work. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you can just look like you know you're probably gay, but yeah, but I, I'm. But see, that doesn't mean that if, if we that should person, let's say, profile people no, based I, on those character and, traits. Well, no, the whole thing stinks. But what I'm saying is, is like, you know, if somebody walks in wearing something that maybe a gay person would usually wear, and they get discriminated against, well, they can now sue. They could sue against it because, like, I'm not gay, and you discriminated against me. So you know, it's just it's it's a whole big mess. And Donald Trump chose this moron as uh, his running mate. It's just, it's a whole, oh, Lord. Hillary just better win. That's all I'm saying. Hope so. I've always, I, <sighs> when Bernie was still running, my, my, <laughs> my, my thought process was Hillary better not win, but she better win. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, that, that was my consensus. It's like it just it has to, because clearly we knew, we, I knew early on Bernie probably wasn't going to be the candidate. Yeah. But. It you was know. it was a nice little pipe dream it was a, there it was, for a while. It was fun for a while, but it's like you know, I, I'd rather he she not win. But if she does, she get the nomination. She better win. That's all I'm saying. She better go all the way, because I yeah we can't deal with that. No, that hair in the White House that has and to those lay, thoughts in the White House. Yeah, that hair has to lay on the Lincoln bed uh, in the, the bed in the Lincoln bedroom every night. That's no, I would I would protest that one. <laughs> what, I would launch it, a protest to not sleep in guest quarters. To, yes, to not allow <laughs> Donald Trump to sleep in the Lincoln bedroom ever. Yes, ever, ne- ever, ever. Never, don't ever set foot in there. Damn it, don't you ever go in there. Didn't David Duke just casually endorse him again? Uh, twice, this, and now he's running for Senate. I think uh, David I Duke. I think so. Yeah, or con- Congress. No, he's co- running for Congress. Yeah, why is. not? <laughs> you can watch last week and get scared, and then watch this week. It's like, okay, clearly, this is the right way to go. Yeah, of course. Or is it the I mean the left way to go? Ha! Oh. Did you hear that?